Hello. Dan. Hello. Again. Sorry to interrupt. My sister's on late. Sorry, just working through the old list, as you know. Dan, I have asked you not to keep coming right. If I may. When we split up, you cited several reasons, one of which was we didn't have much fun anymore. Well, we didn't in the end, did we? What about the helicopter penis dance? What? The helicopter penis dance. I did it one night when we came back from the pub, and you said it was, I think I'm quoting here, hilarious. Things like that can't sustain a relationship, Dan. Was it funny? Have you been reading that self-help book again? Was the helicopter penis dance funny, and as a result, did we have fun? Well, <clears throat> on that isolated occasion, there was an element of fun. Thank you. I will address other issues as and when. Slip slide. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Please try and remember all the compliments I've given you and when I took that box of veg over to your mum because she had that bad eye thing. What do you want me to do about it? Well, let's see. We've spent 45 minutes jumping off a table whilst you scribble in a pad. Maybe you should teach. Oh, maybe you should take your little girl mask off, Rose West. John Morris! Dennis, calm down. Honestly, why are you so angry? Oh, no! He kills bees in his bedroom, sir. No, John! Breathe, breathe. Right, Morris, jump. I can't do it, sir. I'm scared. Mate, this is a box down to trust exercise. I've been doing this shit for years. Your safest house is jump. I can't, sir. Morris, we need to try and get the space captain's missus back. What if she doesn't want to come back, sir? The fuck are you talking about? Perhaps she's changed her mind. Perhaps she's realised the space captain is an idiot. She hasn't. Uh, she loves him. The space captain's been really kind to her. He's given her loads of compliments. And he took that box of veg round to her mum when she had that leaky eye thing, so... Morris, jump. But, sir, I don't like heights. I don't imagine the space captain's missus likes getting banged by an alien, Morris. You're safe. I promise. Oh. 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 You'll be fine. Just walking round for a bit. Mr Davis! Ah, Miss Lipstick. What's wrong with Morris? Nothing. He's become a man. He's calling for his mum. Good. Man, mum. Right. I came to remind you about the heads of department meeting tonight. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I can't come. Dan! Come on, Emma. My life's in tatters. You know that. I started crying yesterday. Do you want to know what I was doing? I was watching Time Team. Yeah. We don't want this level of sadness in a meeting. This is the last one. You're a head of department. You've got to attend meetings. I will, I promise. <sighs> nice ass. What? What did you say, Dan? That was embarrassing. Hey, jog on four, right? Ah, hello, Shakira. I'm fascinated. What's in the special? Egg! Just egg? Yeah. Can that be a special? Just the word egg? Fuck it, Bob, if you're going to muck about. Just a cup of tea, please. Shakira, what a delight. Egg circus? 
Yes, please. Right, Super Tash? Very much so. Brussels, here I come. Oh, have a great time, Brian. Enjoy the tour you booked of the EU headquarters. Hey, when did I take us to Laser Quest that time for Naomi's birthday? Why? I'm making a list of all the good times. Dan, you can't solve a relationship problem by enlisting the past. Why not? <laughs> I don't know where to start. I'm not the one to solve this, okay? You need to talk to a woman. Word up! But not that woman. Ah. Oh. I'm shagged. This thong is going in the outside bin when I get home. What is this nonsense? Sweaty salsa. Training to get my instructor's diploma. Who's that ratified by? The University of Scambridge. Anyway, it's wicked fun. You should come down now you're single. Loads of women, no blokes. It's only Raul, the teacher. I think he might be gay. Number one, I'm not single. Number two, I've met Raul. Of course he's fucking gay. Number three, salsa's for middle-aged losers. You're 40 and live with your parents. And you've got a tiny little head. Looks like David Siemens, all shrunken and vile. Dan, please come. Sign up for one class and then I'll get a free massive plastic flower for my hair. No. I think Dan has more basic needs to address, Joe. Yes, like... What am I going to cook Naomi for our get-back-together meal tomorrow? She hasn't even agreed to come yet. This meal is all in Dan's head. Bollocks! I've done a deal with Big Dave Bowers for the meat. It's going to be awesome, mate. That, coupled with my programme of nostalgia... Christ! Hasn't it occurred to you just to try and change? Change what? You know, little things. Get your car seat fixed. All right. I'll get it welded up at Mad Nobby's tomorrow. There you go. Okay, why is it your instinct to have your car fixed by a man called Mad Nobby? Mad Nobby's awesome. Thank you. Does live in Torford, though, Dan. Which is 15 miles away. Go to a local garage. No, Nobby's the cheapest. Besides, I've got a plan. You follow me to Nobby's tomorrow. We drop the car off. We go back into town. I pick up some meat. You drive me back to Nobby's. I drive my car back home. I cook us a meal. I put on some soft music. Naomi comes round. Mmm, she likes the mints. Next thing she knows, she's married to me. We try and have children. We can't. All my sperm are dead, but it doesn't matter. Too late. She's trapped. Dan, four o'clock tomorrow, I'm going to be on the Eurostar with my wife. I'm not missing out on a mini break to go on a meat run. <sighs> da 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 Hurry up. I need the plate. Daniel! Don't start. I've been cleaning out the garage. Well done. I'll nominate you for a Pride of Britain award. I'm just doing my bit. Your mum and Mrs Wigmore are doing a deep clean of the house, so I tackled the garage. And guess what I found? Oh, no. Remember this? It's wonderful! No. Come and have a quick knockabout. No. Because unlike you, I don't have fond memories of the old days, and I have no desire to have a swing ball smashed into my nuts on purpose. <laughs> Not on purpose. Always on purpose. Always on purpose. Goodbye. Daniel? Please? Look. What are you up to? God, you're so suspicious. I told you, I'm not going to play if you're going to be stupid. Daniel, your service. Huh? Dad, I can't find Mimpole. Oh, Daniel, that's not the swing ball. Play! Mr Davis, have you seen Mimples? Oh, no, wait. Ah! He killed Mimple! No, he threw ah! it at me. Daniel, ah! I was throwing Mimples! Mr Mimples for you to catch. Oh, not to smash it to a wall and kill. What's going on? Dad, he killed Mimples! 
Oh, no! Mr. Stevens! You sick fuck. Wait! That's it, Dad! Because... Kill no. him! No! Kill him like he killed Mr. Mimpos! The Amandara! No! Please! Please! <laughs> no, I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to! <laughs> I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't do that! Hang on, what's going on? I'm oh, sorry, Daniel. It was your dad's idea. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> you sad little girl. He wet himself. <laughs> Daniel, Mempus was already dead. <laughs> he starved to death. I forgot to feed him. <laughs> You're all sick. <laughs> What's all this noise around here? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Wigmore. What have you done? Oh. 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 Daniel, you oh. monster! Oh. Uh, phone an ambulance! <sighs> well, the paramedics think she'll be fine, but they're keeping her in for a couple of days. What were you thinking, putting a space hopper on the path? Right, because none of that was Dad's fault, was it, you mental old crone? Your dad never touched the space hopper. And why are you wearing those awful jogging bottoms again? Mainly because my trousers are covered in my piss. Are they? Well, you better go and get them so I can wash them. I don't want you visiting Mrs Wigmore tomorrow in mucky trousers. I'm not going to visit Mrs Wigmore. She's your cleaner. She wants to see your little walnut face. I can't. I'm busy. I've got a relationship to save. What are you doing? Nibbling some shortbread, stroking a plant? Ah. Oh. All right. I'll go and visit the cleaner in hospital. Good boy. And make sure you take a present too. Christ. Most people would spend the morning of a holiday packing. Brian, we're on a wicked little road trip. It's exciting. What the hell is that? It's Nobby's version of a receipt. Jesus, I thought Mad Nobby was just an affectionate nickname. Should you have left your car with him? He's obviously genuinely unstable. Nobby's awesome. He knows Tinker from Lovejoy. Have you put any thought into what you're buying, Mrs Wigmore? Have I put any thought into it? What should I take her? A cooked lobster? My uncle was killed by a lobster. Oh, yeah? Was he allergic? No. <laughs> oh, there is something I need to do before hospital, actually. It's a permanent marker. I've tried to get it off, but I think you could see. I've just made it red. I don't want to know why you have a tick on your head. I just want you to stop coming round and telling me odd things. What do you want me to say? That is up to you. OK. I'm pleased you're having your car seat mended and that you're visiting your mum's cleaner in hospital. Thank you. Would you like to come for a meal tonight? Dan, we've split up. I know, we're on a break. We've split up. But we'll come round later to pick up my stuff. Lovely. I will have a home-cooked meal waiting for you. No, I'm coming to get my things. I'll be round at five. A bit early for a meal. Dan, look. I can see you are trying. I'm addressing everything you said. All you ever do is go down the calf with your silly friends, you said. Well, not anymore. I'm really getting out there. Visiting a cleaner and mending a car seat are not really getting out there. That's not all I'm doing. What else are you doing, then? Activities. Fascinating activities. I'll tell you about them at the meal tonight. I'm coming to collect my possessions because we've split up. Yes, and while you're there, we'll have a lovely meal and I'll tell you about all the interesting things I'm doing in my spare time. Slip, slide. One more drop off, mate. Think. Oh my god, you look wicked. Yeah? Yeah. They feel a bit tight. Supposed to be. Don't worry about that. Just take a Pepsi Max bottle down there. Oh, shit, he's going mental. Come on, let's go. Well, shall I tell Raoul we're coming back next week for the salsa class? I'm not actually going to the class, am I, you twat? I just want this to fool Naomi into thinking I'm but... doing stuff. Grab my clothes. I've got to go next door to get Mrs. Wigmore a present. 
Damn! Damn! Get in the bloody car! Nearly there! Wigmore, butchers, mad nobbies. We're on schedule, Brian. I'll have a meal ready by five easy! What tickets for the Euro start at four? So stop keeping me talking then. Tick tock! Miss Sweetmore. Daniel, how <laughs> lovely of you to visit. There was no need. I'll be home tomorrow. Well, I bought you a present. Sorry about the space hopper. <laughs> right, get well. We're going to be off. Come on, Joe. Vegetables? No one bring vegetable as a present, son. It's weird. What's that tick on your head? It's a welding receipt. And everyone likes a box of vegetables. Right? It's the thought that counts. You look like prostitutes. One gay and one straight. What? Oh, thanks. Just salsa. My grandson bought me an audiobook. That's a proper present. Can you drop it? She likes her vegetables. Let's see some of your salsa. Oh, well, we'd love to. But I'm afraid we've got things to do. We're in a bit of a rush. So, enjoy your present. Get well, everyone. Show us the moon. We haven't got time to do a fucking salsa dance, guys. What's all this fuss? Young Daniel's bought me some vegetables and they're trying to bully them into doing salsa dance for us. Oh, that would be lovely. Is anyone listening? It's not happening. Oh, are you in too much of a hurry to do a little dance for our poorly friend? Yes, I've got to go. Where? What's so urgent? I've got to cook some mints later. I see. No, the thing... How's the pain today, Joan? Awful. I'm not surprised. We've had to remove the best part of your bowel. <sighs> Maybe we should have eaten some fucking vegetables then. We haven't got any music. the fucking salsa? Where the hell have you been? In the company of some very selfish old people. Look at the bloody time. Sorry, we'll go straight to Nobby's now. Thank you. After we pop into Big Dave Bowers to get some mints. Jesus! <laughs> Bye. Let me just check it's ready. Doesn't matter if it's ready or not. I'm going to the Eurostar. Come on, mate. Ten minutes. Why do we do anything for him? He's going through a really hard time at the moment, Brian. What have you ever known him not to be going through a hard time? Once he gets Naomi back... He's not getting her back, is he? Look at what he's planning on cooking her. Hey, mince is nice. Not on its own. Mmm. -hmm. Make yourself comfortable while I go and make you a massive plate of unaccompanied cooked mints. Oh, stop it, you're making me hungry. Nightmare, I haven't got any money. Oh, for God's sake. You've seen these salsa trousers, Brian. I've only got room for a cock and balls, let alone a wallet. Well, I've only got traveller's chicks, so... Well, give me one of those. Come on, tick tock. Dan, I know this guy's called Mad Nobby, but he's hardly going to accept a traveller's check for a minor welding job. Well, at least let me try. How much is it? Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds? Christ! How does he make a living? I told you he's cheap. Well, they're in euros. Please, Brian. Nobby is already wound up. Right. We'll have to give him a 15 euro traveller's check. Well, you can tell him that he's making a tidy little profit there. Brian, you're quite cross now, aren't you? No. You look cross. Not cross. 
Joe. You've got that vein in your forehead. It comes out, it's all wonky. You won't take a traveller's check. Ask Mad Nobby if he'd mind dreadfully you taking the car on trust. You could pop back tomorrow with your 12 pounds. I'll give that a go. Brian. Don't talk. It went a bit weird. But he says I can have the car and he'll take the money a different way. Right. Joe, would you mind getting out of the car, please? Dan, would you mind taking your two bags of mints? Brian! Get me one of those massive Toblerones! Do you think Brian's cross? Well, Nobby appears to have deducted his costs. How much mints do you want? I think I can really get into salsa, you know. We should go sometime. Big Dave Blouse has given me far too much mint here. I can, I can feed the whole town. Dan. And just in case you're worried, no mimples were hurt during the filming of that episode. If you're looking for more comedy to get your grubby hands on, or you just happen to have missed an episode, head to 4OD and catch up on the London Irish. But next up, Alan's getting all chatty. He does tend to get that way on a Friday night at 10 o'clock on Channel 4.